The once highly sought after field of engineering and technology courses is now grappling with a noticeable decline in student enrollment. A report by the Ministry of Education reveals the sobering trend. The enrollment in Bachelor of Technology and Bachelor of Engineering dwindled from 4 million in 2016-17 to 3.6 million in 2020-21. According to academics, this is due to diminishing job opportunities within the field, with the latest blow coming from the IT sector that is navigating tepid sales due to global slowdown and geopolitical uncertainties. According to a Team Lease EdTech report, the IT sector is projected to onboard 32% fewer engineering graduates in FY24 compared to FY23. Co founder of Team Lease EdTech, Neeti Sharma points out that many students are eyeing the IT stream even when hiring in the IT sector has been shrinking. This is making them look for opportunities in other industries. The decline is largely because students, everyone is vying for an IT job. Every engineering stream is looking to get a foothold in the IT. Uh, while the admissions have dropped, and I think for some time it may continue, uh, what I'm also seeing is that a lot of engineering students will start looking for jobs in the non-IT sectors as well. So there are a lot of companies who are actually building their tech uh, talent. You know, they're hiring a lot of people to build their tech uh, departments. I think there'll be a lot of hiring that will happen there. GCCs, you know, global capability centers are also hiring in a big way right now. So while the core IT product and services companies may not be hiring and there is a decline for sure, uh, the GCCs and the non-tech companies will continue to hire. Uh, to your point, uh, will the trend continue where the engineering admissions will be lower? I think it will be lower than the last few years. It will get rationalized at some point. Overall, fresher hiring by IT companies has declined from 26% of overall passouts from engineering and tech courses in FI22 to 15% and 10% in FI23 and FI24, respectively. The big four in IT, Infosys, Wipro, TCS and HCL Tech, have been reporting a total sequential decline in headcount numbers. At the end of the third quarter of FI24, the IT giants reported a combined headcount cut of over 50,875 employees. Till the third quarter of financial year 2024, India's largest software services firm TCS reported a cumulative headcount fell over 10,669 compared to the same period last year. In the same time period, Infosys reported a reduction of 24,182 jobs, while Wipro cut 18,510 jobs. At HCL Tech, however, the headcount increased by 2,486. Industry analysts highlight a growing awareness among both existing employees and freshers about the need to upskill for maintaining competitiveness in the industry. Leading IT firms are prioritizing courses in digital transformation, data analytics and cloud computing, which indicates a sustained demand for these skill sets. In terms of engineering programs, like I mentioned, I think civil, mechanical, you know, mechatronics, electronics, there is there's just so much happening in that world. So I think those programs will become uh, equally important. Over and above that, I think every engineering student that is passing out now in the near future or has passed and is not able to get a job, I think they have to look at upgrading their skills to stay relevant because a, a student who has passed out last year and has been waiting to get a job, tech, even technical skills have changed, right? So while we've been talking about very standard programs like your Java full stack developer or a Python developer or things like that. But I think understanding the world of augmented reality, you know, or artificial intelligence is very important for every engineer. Apart from the recent downsizing in IT owing to macroeconomic instabilities, Indians are also worried about losing jobs to artificial intelligence compared to their Western counterparts. One out of two Indians fears job loss due to increased AI adoption and automation in the country, according to a study. So are these evolving trends going to impact the IT and tech startup industry? In IT services also, if you look at uh, the overall ratio of people who are employable versus people who are graduating, I mean, the gap was almost like three to four times. So even if the overall intake in these engineering colleges come down, uh, there's a long, long way where any kind of an impact would, would really be seen. The, probably I would see it as a little positive sign where if some of these people really don't do engineering, uh, that means the people who are doing engineering are people who are really passionate, people who really want to kind of really do well 
so probably the overall quality of talent pool that will come out of the engineering might go up traditionally engineering studies were attractive among students for early employment and growth prospects however with increasing opportunities in other fields students are now actively picking up courses in liberal and fine arts journalism digital marketing and psychology among others within engineering there is a growing interest among students in specializations like data protection cyber security and fintech If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. She's working her way to the corner office. Business Standard.